Hello and welcome to the session friends. My name is Yogesh Kumar. In last video we have discussed introduction to docker, docker pre-requesties and uh, basic docker commands. After that video I have got a couple of uh, comments and feedback uh, from you guys that you want to know how docker networking works and is there a way to change the default networking subnet to any custom one so to quickly demonstrate this particular thing how we can change the default subnet i thought to record this video scenario where we want to use our custom network subnet by default docker container make use of the default subnet which is 172.17.0.0 slash 16 for networking there may be scenario in your network where you can't use this particular network subnet. Reason may be you got some restrictions or this particular subnet is already used. So how you can change it to custom? So in lab, we are going to modify the default subnet, which is 172.17.0.0 slash 16 to, for example, 10.10.10.10 slash 24. And, uh, the bridge interface is going to remain same which is docker zero default so first thing we have to do we have to configure custom network to do so we have to stop docker service first then we will bring down the docker zero interface basically which is a bridge then we will verify whether ip forwarding is enabled or not if it is not enabled then we are going to enable it in cctl.com why we need uh, default uh, IP forwarding reason if we want to communicate with outside network then we need uh, IP forwarding to be enabled then this is the way to specify custom network subnet basically the file is etc sysconfig slash docker dash network so this is specific to Red Hat and CentOS 7 if you are using some different release like Ubuntu, you have to refer that documentation. For Ubuntu, the file is etc slash default slash network. And this is the Docker network options. We have to save this particular subnet. After that, we have to remove the default subnets. Masquerade uh, rule from the post routing chain in network IP table. I am going to use IP table command for this purpose. Once that is done, we can start our Docker service and again uh, we can verify whether masquerade rule have been new subnet added to post chain. So using IP table command you can check that. And for validation, we can use command docker network inspect bridge. So as I mentioned, docker zero that is the default network and by default that's bridge. So that's a way to check what is the IP configuration. Other thing we can do, we can use docker inspect command again. I'm using minus F to uh, cut particular network IP address for that particular container. I have to specify container ID. Then another thing we can do, we can run a docker container and uh, we can log into docker container and see what is the IP configuration in that particular docker container and whether that container can communicate with the outer network or outer world or not. So that is going to be our quick validation. So let's begin our technical session friends where I can demonstrate uh, this particular configuration to you. Okay, so this is uh, my CentOS 7 server and uh, this server got Docker package installed. If you want to know how to install Docker package and what are the basic settings we have to do, you can refer my previous video. Okay, so first thing which I said, uh, we have to stop our docker service before that i just want to show you the docker interface configuration if you see right now it got default ip which is 172.17.0.1 slash 16 this is the default one uh, another thing uh, let's check docker network so docker network ls is the command to list out network interfaces this is the bridge which is default this is the host one this is uh, for custom purposes. 
uh, let's check what is the configuration of this bridge interface as of now so you can run command network sorry let's talk on network Docker network inspect then your interface name that is bridge basically if you see right now this is the configuration inside this particular bridge interface so we are going to modify it to 10.10.10.10 10 10 10 slash 24 okay let's do our step so first thing as i mentioned we have to stop docker service to stop docker service simply run systemctl because this is at head 7 systemctl stop docker.service if you go to ubuntu or any other linux follow those commands okay docker service is stopped let me quickly verify whether service actually got stopped okay friends we can see service is exited and it stopped so next thing uh let me bring down the interface i'm bringing docker zero interface down and uh, let's check quickly whether it's actually down okay if you see here it is showing broadcast multicast but up is not appearing it means interface is down state is down that's another indication now let's change the default subnet configuration as i mentioned in red hat 7 the file which we have to update that is etc sysconfig docker network here this entry is blank by default here i'm going to append it and i'm going to put my new network basically that CIR, cidr and uh, the subnet so that's 24 i'm using 10.10.10.10 slash .10 .10 .10 24 you can use your custom one so this is only for demo i'm saving this file so file is saved next thing let me quickly show you what is the ip config rules at present before uh, clearing the unwanted rules now if you see at present this chain post routing policy the masquerade uh, is 172.17.0.0 which is default ip so what i'm going to do i'm going to clear this particular rule because we don't need it now we have already changed the ip address to do so i'm going to run ip tables minus t that's nat minus f post routing so it is cleared let me flush the docker rule also this is basically same similar let's verify if you see right now there is no rule so that's a good thing and uh, one thing friends i want to tell you when we start our docker service new rule will be automatically created so no need to manually create that rule okay now let's start docker service system ctl start docker.service press enter okay it started so let's quickly check Okay, service is running and enabled that's good so let's quickly check the ip address of our bridge which is docker 0 okay friends it is it got our new ip if you see here it got our new ip so next thing we have to do because interface state is still down we have to bring it uh, up manually or uh, we can simply bounce the network service which is not desired for non production setups so let's bring this interface manually up okay interface is up and let's check docker here it will always show down because that's a bridge uh, that's something don't no need to worry because this for this particular bridge we haven't used any physical mic it is communicating with the underlying network using uh, ip forwarding that's a reason so don't get confused why it is still down but here you have to verify this particular state itself to make it more clear if you see this is the bridge docker zero this is the bridge id it's stp enabled no and interfaces nothing so it means it does not have any underlying dedicated interface it is using the underlying network or you can say host network using ip forwarding so our configuration is done and our new ip series or you can say subnet network subnet is appearing it means our configuration worked that's good so let's have uh, 
one container running and validate whether this configuration is working and uh, what is the validation point if from container we are able to connect with the internet then i can say it is working before doing that uh, i just want to show you the new configuration of bridge if you see now this is the configuration and gateway is appearing as a same subnet if you want to use any custom gateway there is the option like when you remember file where we have specified custom network we can say dash dash gateway and our desired gateway but uh, i am using the, the same subnet as gateway so i don't need gateway but if you want you can specify your custom gateway if you go to like vlan kind of thing so because this is my test setup i'm not much bothered about that but there is an option to add gateway okay so let's run one container and validate uh, what's its configuration let me quickly list out what are the images or contain docker images i got from my system so i got only one image which is sent to us that's fine so let me run a container using this particular image so here i'm saying this is repo and uh, run bash so i will log into this particular container in this way okay it's good and if you see right now prompt uh, hostname is changed from docker management to this particular id it means i am inside docker let me run df minus h you can see you are not getting operating system data so that's one validation so let's uh, quickly check uh, if config or ip address or oh, if config command is not there ip command is not there because in container by default you got very limited package space that's a one reason but no need to worry for our validation we can use ping command let's ping google okay we are able to ping google that's fine it means our network is up and uh, we are able to do things but let me quickly show you how you can install a package inside container install net utils i believe this is the package which delivers if config ip or uh, ns lookup commands so let it install the package so em returns no package okay my mistake i believe it's uh, net tools not utils so let me change it say minus one i'm sure this is the package okay it is getting installed so package is installed inside the container now so let's check if config minus a and if you see this particular container it's zero code this particular ip which is from the custom range so in that reference you can use uh, your custom ip and uh, you can use your custom ip addresses inside your container and as you seen this container is able to communicate with the internet so that's easy configuration if you have any query any suggestion or any concern or if you think i have uh, discussed something uh, mismatching configuration or mismatching information you can post a comment on my youtube channel thanks for watching this video stay tuned for latest videos thank you friends bye bye